Assalamualaikum and good morning. So for today, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use Android Studio for developing Android application for mobile devices. So Android Studio is the primary tool and the official way for developer to deploy Android application to mobile devices. So without further ado, let me show you and demonstrate to you the use of Android IDE. So to launch an Android IDE, you only have to select it from your uh, start menu and launch Android Studio. Okay, and then you will be presented with a welcome in user interface. So the dashboard user interface will allow you to open an existing Android Studio project and also allow you to start a new Android Studio project. So by clicking uh, start new Android Studio project, it will enable you to select a project template for your own Android Studio application. So there are many form of uh, Android Studio template available for you to choose. So for our purpose, let's just select a basic activity. Then by clicking next, you can name your activity. So you can rename your activity as uh, my application or any type of application. So we can uh, name it as bus ticket uh, application. Okay, application as example. And then the package name sometimes is named as uh, com dot uh, example. You can rename it by with your name. I choose net dot hafiz. Okay, for the language, you can choose either Kotlin or Java. So if you are more familiar with Java programming language, then choose Java. And then for the minimum SDK, it is suggested that you stay with API 23 because it is the widest supported Android API for all Android devices. So it is supported on approximately 84.9% of Android devices. And then when you uh, have settled up uh, customizing your demo application, just click finish. And then the Gradle uh, plugin will attempt to compile your application. So okay, this is your sample application. And then what left to do is for you to set up an Android virtual device. So an Android virtual device enables you to run your Android application on a virtual device or an, uh, inside an emulator. So you can create any type of virtual device to simulate your Android device. So by default, Android Studio will select Pixel 2. However, I advise against it because Pixel 2 would consume too much of your computing resources. So if you have a limited computing resources, for example, uh, RAM, I suggest you to select Nexus 5. So Nexus 5 is a good compromise for you to run an Android emulator without eating up much of your computing resources. So you can also simulate a tablet and then a uh, watch, okay, Android Wear OS or a watch or even an automotive uh, HDU, okay, head display unit. So, for uh, this demo, I'm going to show you just how to create an Android virtual device for your mobile device to simulate a mobile device. So, select Nexus 5, okay, click next, and then you can select any form of Android API that uh, are going to be installed inside the virtual device. So choose Android Q as it is the default. And then you can name your AVD or Android Virtual Device. So then click Finish. So you will notice that your Android Virtual Device is added in the list of your virtual devices. So when you finish with that, just close the dialog. And then to test out your sample application, just click the Play button at the top. Okay, at the top of the Android IDE. It 
uh, it is labeled as run app. Okay, and then you can select your beta device which uh, you prefer to run your Android uh, sample application. So click play. So if your computer are compatible uh, with Android uh, Studio IDE or if your computer have enough resources, you will notice that uh, your sample application will run instantaneously. So this is the sample application. Okay. Just like what we have, we have already typed uh, just now. Bus ticket application. And then you can click here next. And then you can click uh, another previous. Then this is also a button with a toast. Okay. A toast uh, at the bottom. So this is what we call as floating action button. Okay, uh, this is just a demonstration of the Android Studio IDE application. So notice that uh, I've already mentioned to you that you need at least bare minimum of 12 gig of RAM or barely minimum of 8 gig of RAM to execute Android IDE. But I exceptionally would suggest you to have 16 gig of RAM to comfortably run and develop Android application. Because of why? Because running an Android uh, Studio IDE would be uh, what we say as resource intensive. It takes a lot of RAM. So in this computer, even though I do not uh, run any other application except for Android Studio, uh, this has already taken a lot of RAM. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to open up my task uh, manager so this is my task manager so let's go to the performance tab and then take a look right just by running and executing a single demonstrate demo application have already eaten up more than 12 gig of ram so if your computer have less than 12 gig of ram your computer will start swapping out the memory to this and this will incur lag. Okay, it will incur lag on your computer, and then you will feel your computer performance is sluggish. So we want to avoid that. So to avoid that, you must have at least 12 gig of RAM. Or preferably, if you can afford it, 16 gig of RAM. However, do not be discouraged. I'm not forcing you to upgrade your laptop or not forcing you to buy an and additional memory just to take this class. Okay, I'm just advising you if you have any plans to develop your uh, final year project using mobile application, then you better be prepared uh, with additional memory on your laptop. So you have already seen my demonstration. So this is how Android Studio should be run and executed uh, either on a computer or on a laptop and how the application should be executed and deployed to the virtual device to demonstrate uh, the application or for you to test the application before you compile it and transfer it into your own mobile devices. So uh, your application should run as smoothly like this to ensure that your development experience uh, do not suffer. So ensure that uh, your Android Studio can run as smoothly as this or at least as half as smooth because if it's uh, too laggy, I'm afraid that uh, you won't have enough time to develop your mobile application. So that's all for our today's uh, lesson and today's demonstration. Be seeing you again next week.